America, he must travel back to his side of the time barrier and find that missing something. <laughs> yeah, and he's going to win one of those fabulous prizes too. So why don't you spin the wheel, Patrick, and find your seeker? Good start. And who's it going to be? Maybe it's going to be Wendy Minnelli or Alma Dune or Brian O'Brien. Who knows? Read your clue. A tree has died to give me birth, but still I shelter feathered friends. I'm large and heavy colored earth, with golden fringes my tail ends. And where my name and others be, my owner's name is plain to see. Pat, now remember, if you find Clyde's missing treasure, you're a winner. And you'll qualify for a second round <laughs> and more great prizes. <laughs> That's right, Bobby. And it's a shame you're molting right now, but as you are, pick up your feathers, take Pat, off you go and get ready. And while they're getting ready, let's have another look. Oh, I sheltered feathered friends. Couldn't be you, could it, Booby? <laughs> and my golden fringes, my tail ends, and that's where I end too. It's all too much for me. Better luck with you, Pat. <laughs> you're gone. Time stands still on this side of the barrier. What barrier? The time barrier. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you. Your world and ours are in different time streams, separated by a huge time barrier. For some reason, your people cannot see the barrier and don't know it exists, but they feel its effect. Some parts of the barrier are weakened by clocks from your side. Only some clocks will create weak spots, and it's through these weak spots that objects will pass. There's a weird clock in our shopping center. So go well, find go. it and seek your missing object. Good luck and good finding. So all those people lost their things through the barrier? That's right. Stuff comes through all the time. <laughs> Just little things. Come on, we could go and see Max. Who's Max? He's our resident genius. Without him, there wouldn't even be a finder's keepers. You're interested in computers. Yeah. Don't. Don't touch anything. Please. Where did you get all this stuff? I made it. Now, does Patrick know the rules? Of course he does. Mm. No, I don't. Well, you've got the clue. Well, all you have to do is figure that out, and that'll tell you what Clyde O'Brien has lost. And then you just bring it back next week. Where is it? Well, it'll be somewhere close by your house. Here you are. Put this on. What is it? Tell me what it is first. It's to help you find your object, okay? When you hear it beeping, that means you're getting warm. Beep, beep, beep. And when you find your object, beep, 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 it stops. How does it work? You've got a couple of years. Oh, right. What if I find the thing and someone else has already found it and won't let me have it? Oh, don't worry about that. No one from your side seems to want the things from here. It's, um... Well, it's like they just don't belong. <laughs> Come on, I found a path. Now, look into that monitor there. Now, concentrate, Patrick. Don't look away. 
Same time, same place next week. What? I can't hold the picture. Same TV, 10 o'clock next Saturday morning. What? Don't look away. Sorry, I didn't, I didn't see you there. It's okay. You know what time it is? I'm going to hear the clock. buying you new shoes and you spoiled them in less than a minute. How did you do it? A tree has died to give me birth, but still I shelter feathered friends. I'm large and heavy colored earth with golden fringes in my tail ends. And where my name and others be, my owner's name is plain to see. Face it. Only a grown up could figure that out. It can't be that hard. I mean, how many animals are there with golden fringe tails? Only about 10,000. I know, a lion. Oh, well, Dad, there it is. Oh, it's a big one, all right. It's not hungry. I reckon he could have you for dinner now. See why not? Right. What about Patrick? Mum says we can have an ice cream. No, I don't want one. He has a fun one. Can I have his too? Patrick. Yeah? Uh, we're going to have a look at the elephants. Are you coming? Elephants. I'm large and heavy colored earth. That could be it. What was that? It's got one finger on its trunk and it's got small ears. Yeah. <sighs> it's it's nice. nearly lunchtime. We should move on. I'll we'll never yeah. find it. <laughs> Join us? Look, what's bothering you, Pat? Is there anything you want to tell me? Believe me. Well, it's worth a try. Go on. Well, I've got these sort of clues, you know, to find something. Like a uh, kind of project, is it? Sort of. Well, far away. Huh? Well, this explains the sudden interest in the zoo. Well, let's see. It 
what's what comes from trees? Wood. Yeah, exactly. Or paper, maybe. But still, I shot a feather from it. Yeah. Just, uh, more likely to be wood, I reckon. Or some sort of cage, perhaps. No, I've already tried the aviary. With golden fringes, my tail ends. My tail ends. Sounds like some sort of exotic bird, doesn't it? Hey, what about a pet shop? Yeah. Hey, can you take me to the shopping centre? You know, where I got that pet mouse from. Shops are shut for the weekend, eh? Still, maybe during the week. One day. Oh, you're persistent, aren't you? Uh, tell you what. I think at Wednesday we've got a deal. I've got to go in and pick up something for Mum's birthday then, anyway. Come on, I'll race you back to the others. Hey! <laughs> We're closing up now. Any luck with the pit shop? No. Oh, that's a pity. Never mind, Dad. It's worth a try. Time for bed, money bags. I haven't finished counting yet. Oh, surprise. Look how much you've got. Wish I had some more. Any chance of some dogs for me to do? You don't even do what you're supposed to do now. Mum, we'll see. Now snuggle in. Where's your other footy sock? It should be there. That's a second we've lost this too. Hey, just as well you're saving up. Mum. Yes, darling. Can you take me to the shopping centre tomorrow? But you're only there today. Yes, I know. What's so I... special about the shopping centre all of a sudden? Nothing. It's a secret. Very mysterious. Can we go then? Not during the week, darling. I'm too busy. Saturday then. I'm having my hair done. Next week, okay? Now off to sleep. Sure, Mum. No. No. Your mum's working late this week and the centre's shut by the time she gets home. Saturday then, look up Saturday. After lunch? It's no good. It's got to be first thing to all this out. Remember, it's mum's birthday coming up. See? <sighs> Saturday it is then. First thing? First thing. But we were supposed to go first thing. But you, about but you wrote it in your book, Estelle. Look, we can still make the next bus, OK? Well, if we went next week instead, so See you there. Rush, and, you know, it would probably be easier. And Don't keep talking, Estelle. Estelle! Yes, sweetie. See you there. See you there. Only 25 minutes to get there. Sorry. Just in time. do when you're not with us kids? Well, this and that. How much do you weigh, Estelle? I don't know. Why do you ask? Mum reckons you're worth your weight in gold. That'd be all right. <laughs> this is us. 
Hi, can I help you? I'd like those birds, please. They're very expensive. I've got money. Oh, I'm sorry. They're pretty valuable birds. You don't understand. I've got to have them. I'd like to help you. I was told no one's supposed to want them. Are you looking for a gift for someone? It's my mum's birthday soon. Well, how about the bargain bin? I mean, it's mainly old stuff, but I reckon if you have a look around and find something to suit. I need those birds. Can I borrow them? No. How about this? I mean, it's about birds. Mm. Look, take it. No one will care very much. Go on for your mum. I'm sure she'll like it. Thanks. Where my name and others be, my owner's name is Clyde O'Brien. 